there, Vault Dwellers, Naked Vault Dweller here, and in this video we're going to cover five of my favorite locations to find Nuka-Cola and Nuka-Cola products. If you're ever looking for how-tos, tips and tricks, and walkthroughs, as well as the occasional news and locker room humor, you've come to the right place. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit that notification icon too. We'd love to have you part of our community. Okay, so you're wanting to stock up on your Nuka-Cola Quantum or your Nuka-Cola Poison of Choice. Hey, you come to the right place. At some time or another, Bethesda's thrown out the challenge for us to find and drink 25 Nuka-Colas. There might also be some other times that you might just want to have some Nuka-Cola Quantums lying around. And whatever the case is, you need it and I'm going to show you where to find it. There are a few things you're going to want to keep in mind though. First, when you come across a location that is supposed to have Nuka-Cola but doesn't, instead it just has empty bottles, do not pick them up. Picking up the empty bottle acts just like you're picking up the full bottle, so just leave the empty bottles alone. Secondly, these spawns are completely different spawns for everybody. So when you log in there and you see something, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to see the same thing that you're seeing. So the quantity and type is going to change from one person to the next. Lastly, if you reach your destination and it doesn't have any Nuka-Colas there, go ahead and server hop and come back in there. They're bound to appear. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with number 5, which is going to be pretty much all the train stations. If you do have a couple of caps to spare, going to all the vendors is going to save you the most time, even though it's going to cost you the most in the long run. With just visiting two train stations, I found 9 Nuka-Colas. And with number 4, we're going to visit White Springs Golf Club. And as soon as you get there, just move towards the building till you see the Nuka-Cola machine. Open it up and you'll see here I have two. But let's not just stop right here. There's a pool right next door with another Nuka-Cola machine. All we gotta do is jump the wall. And believe it or not, I actually have footage of six being located in this machine, but none of them were Nuka-Cola Quantums, which is why I used this footage. And just to the left of this Nuka-Cola machine, move inside the concession stand where you'll find the locked door. To save on time, I actually picked this lock before I came in here so we can go right in. When you get inside the storage area, have a look down. You're going to see a ghoul there guarding his Nuka-Cola. Take care of him and then have a look around see if you can't find any more Nuka-Cola laying around inside. Next is going to be my number three spot, the Red Rocket Mega Stop. You can't travel there directly because it's a workshop now, but once you get there, there's several vending machines you can go and check out. And the first one I came to had four of them waiting for me on the inside, so yay. And the next one had four as well, but remember, don't pick up the empty bottles because you can come back and get those two on a server hop. This one wasn't completely packed out like I'd hoped it'd be, but it did have a Nuka-Cola Quantum, which got my attention. And I haven't already told you, this place is loaded down with bots most of the time, so proceed with caution. And the first machine had two with one empty bottle. And the second machine had two additional Nuka-Colas in them. And what Nuka-Cola video would be complete without going to the Kana Nuka-Cola plant, which is my number two spot. When you reach this location, you're going to find that Nuka-Cola is actually going to be located pretty much everywhere in this facility. Start by looking in the shipping area in the back of the building. There you'll find some in some boxes downstairs, and if you work your way upstairs, you're going to find some there too. Next, on the roof from the fusion generator, go this direction till you get to these doors. And if you haven't already got it, this is going to require a level 3 lockpick to get inside, but once you're in there, you're going to be able to find several Nuka-Cola Quantums lying around. And drop down and work your way around, you're going to find Nuka-Colas pretty much everywhere you look. And the ghouls here don't particularly like people coming and taking their Nuka-Colas, so take care of them as you see fit. And something else I thought was pretty interesting is whenever I went into the bathroom area of this location, I actually found two Nuka-Colas in there. When I first arrived, I thought it was just one, but then I moved over to the side and found that it was two. And my last favorite place to go to, which is my number one pick, is going to be at the White Springs Resort. When you arrive at White Springs, you're going to find one of the ballrooms, and attached to one of those ballrooms is going to be a Nuka-Cola fountain. And there you're going to find a bot by the name of Bubbles. And I know I covered vendor bots at the beginning of this video, but this one actually is a little different, as it only sells Nuka-Cola. And after speaking with Bubbles at this location, I'm able to purchase 13 Nuka-Colas from here. This place, by far, is the easiest place to access, and you get the most bang for your buck, in my opinion. The only true caveat that I've run into from purchasing from Bubbles is that if you purchase all of them at once, you cannot purchase any more for 24 hours. And other than that, this place is pretty much gold. So we're all curious, where's your favorite places to find your Nuka-Cola? And leave us a comment down below, and if you're interested, also leave us a dad joke down below too. It may actually get highlighted in the next video. Which reminds me from one of my latest streams, why my hair said, waffles are just pancakes with abs. And I'll close that out with Branch Core saying that he once was addicted to soap, but he's all clean now. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.